speaking of the fair, also top of mind tonight is ride safety after yesterday's deadly fair accident in Columbus, Ohio. It turns out the company that operated that ride in Ohio is supposed to set up rides at a Western New York festival, and a similar ride is supposed to be at the Erie County Fair. Channel 2's Heather Lee has more on changes being made in the wake of that deadly mishap. The New York State Department of Labor said it will reinspect all rides managed by Amusements of America, the Midway company in charge of the ride that broke at the Ohio State Fair. It was at its highest point and I saw somebody fall out of the ride and then a minute later the whole like row of seats fell off and hit the ground. The Labor Department ordered all companies operating the Fireball ride to voluntarily shut them down until they learn more about the accident in Ohio. It's also taking a second look at similar rides owned by any company. Amusements of America listed on its website that it is running the rides at the upcoming Niagara County Peach Festival. Advisory Chairman Jerry Wolfgang released a statement that said festival organizers have been in touch with the ride company and added that the ride involved in the deadly fair accident has never been at the festival. The Erie County Fair uses a different Midway company. A ride similar to the one in Ohio is supposed to be in Hamburg in a couple of weeks, but that could change pending new tests and reviews by the manufacturer. State inspectors in Ohio said that ride was checked thoroughly. Our team looked at it. We had a third party uh, team look at it. It's been looked at uh, about three or four times over the course of two days. In 2011, New York State began making ride safety inspection results public record. Up until that point, the State Labor Department had refused to do so. After Two on Your Side brought this to his attention, Governor Andrew Cuomo ordered the agency to create a publicly accessible database on its website. Well, we have a link to that database right now at WGRZ.com. There is a catch, though. Detailed inspections for individual rides are posted usually within two weeks of the event start date. So some events might be over before the details are listed on the site. And as I mentioned, a ride similar to the one in Ohio is supposed to be at this year's Erie County Fair. But fair officials told me this afternoon again that the manufacturer is going to run more tests and inspections. So there's a possibility that that ride won't be here. Heather Lee, Channel 2 News.